Hello again, uh, once again this is Leon Turner uh, and today's video is going to be a little bit about uh, IQ5 licensing uh, and how the process works. Now I'm going to do this as an additional piece, so I've got a couple of IQ5s here, they are already licensed for certain things but I'm going to add some features. The process is pretty much the same as to whether you add some features or start from scratch and add all the features you need from the very beginning. So I've got my uh, my Honeywell account up on the web page which we need and I've got some controllers which we also need. Um, I've got two, I'm only going to license one. So right now this controller is licensed for a few bits and pieces. Um, you can see it's 50 points uh, but nothing else at the moment. So what I'm going to do as a, a way to uh, make this a, a reasonable example, although the process would be the same if I added any of these things really. And as you can see, we've got options for IQ interfacing, uh, the expansion bus over CAN for replacing IQ 4 or 3, and the IQ uh, view display. But for now, I'm going to add 150 points. Uh, yes, we'll leave it at that to keep it nice and simple. So I'm going to basically bump the controller total, the IO total up from 50 external IO points to 150. So we'll hit OK and we'll hit OK. So set will just update my strategy. Now at the moment that's done absolutely nothing to the controller. So if I go to the controller on a page I already had open, sort of semi-cheating, you can see that my external I.O. count is at 50 on that particular controller. So if we now go back to set, and I do have a live connection to these controllers here. Um, again, I set that up just to save a bit of time. And what I'm going to do is go to the IQ5 feature licensor which should do a scan of everything I need in the controller versus what is already in the controller. So it looks at what's in the strategy in my um, IQ, uh, in my tool set um, project versus what is already in the controller. So you have to have a live connection to do this so it can compare the two. And you'll see it tells me what's already licensed in that column there and it tells me what I do need next. So that could be quite a list if I added a, a bunch of things to this particular controller. I only want this one really so I'm just going to click that box if I had uh, a whole raft of controllers I would just add every controller I wanted to license you can do it all in one go uh, and in fact maybe that would be a good demonstration too so we'll open another controller and I'll add some functions to that as well so this one already has a fair amount of things added to it. I'll add some points to this one as well. well. We'll go mad and make this a huge one. There we go. So that's pretty much maxed out. Now if I refresh this, you'll see it's added the features for both controllers. Uh, again, just additional IO points. So we'll select both and then this is a sort of call and uh, request type operation. So I'm going to generate a license file and I'm going to put that on the desktop so I can find it again. So it's created this file. Now the file is actually an XML file and you can go away and check what's in it if you wish. But that's kind of what it looks like and you can kind of check what you're getting really but you mustn't change the format in any way shape or form or it will fail when you try and import it. So now I've got that, if I just minimize these things, I'm going to wait, I'm already logged in, um, I've got my currency selected, etc. So I'm going to go to bulk order and I want an IQ5 license. So if I select the IQ5 license, what I can do is take my file and drop it into that window and you'll see IQ5 license and that's the, the, the file name there. So I can review that and it's collected all the license options I need to take those controllers from what they are to what I want them to be. So this is an incremental selection which sort of adds up to the, the total I wanted. I don't really need to worry about that because the net result is going to be fairly simple. This just makes it a little, little more complicated because it's doing all the adding of the parts up to us. So if I add that to my shopping cart and go there, I'll show you the whole process end to end. There we go. And I will check out. So 
So I place my order with the purchase order number. Uh, I want immediate really, so we'll, we'll just tick all the boxes it asks us to tick. Put in my email address, view the order. Obviously I agree to the terms and conditions and I place the order. Right, so that is on its way. So now if I go to my email, I should get momentarily some verifications as to what I've just done. So there we go. So that's my order acknowledgement. It's just come in, but that's not the email I actually want. There will be another one automatically generated, this one, which came in genuinely that quickly. Now, this gives me a link to go away and download the, the file I need, the key I need to unlock those, those pieces in the controller. It's very important that we make a note of this. So this key is only valid for seven days from the date of the email. That doesn't mean the parts you've ordered become invalid. It's just this link. So the best thing to do is go away and get that key as soon as you can. Okay. Now you can obviously forward that email to a site engineer and so on if they want the, the key. But there we go. There it is. It's come down. Again, all encrypted shouldn't really mess around with that so if i go and put that somewhere safe so if i i'm gonna i'm gonna copy it just to be double safe and i'm gonna put that on the desktop as well where they put the other one so there it is ends in 49 and now i go back to set So in set, I go to here and I again go to IQ5 feature licensor. I'll relaunch it. Now this time, I'm going to import the license key. Uh, obviously, we exported the request file last time. So I select that from my position and in it comes. You can see in there, there's a column with unlock code with two green ticks. So that's been accepted and is OK. So now I'm going to go and select the controllers. I'm going to do these one at a time because one of the controllers hosts the virtual CNC for this system and if it resets it will upset the process. doesn't take very long uh, but the controller will restart, hence doing that one at a time. So now they've both had the key, uh, we've got the little word success there so it's all worked um, and if we were to refresh it required features would reset so if i go and prove this in the web page which has obviously logged me out because it restarted which is fine we log back in and then go and look at our options again to double check for external io and make sure it's been added and there we go it's now to 150. i won't check the other one because i know full well it will have worked so that's it in summary that's how the process works um you do need a live connection to the controller as we've seen <clears throat> and it really really helps if you've got live access to the portal at the same time although you can separate these processes out um, don't forget to use that link in your email within seven days or you'll have to uh, go and uh, get another another invitation to the url now i hope that's explained things adequately if you need any more information please talk to your trend representative um, and thank you for listening and i'll talk to you again soon bye bye